so we will do anything but commit to ourselves so we will take on a teacher we will learn different spiritual approaches um you know we will do anything but commit to ourselves and look at ourselves because that's the last place where we want to go <clears throat> and, and really if you're looking to resolve seeking that's the first place you need to go to and to have that conversation like i say with this inner guru with this inner teacher that can call you out on the stories that you've put in place the lies the reasons the excuses um because let's be honest who knows you better than yourself um but it's amazing we will do anything but commit to ourselves and i believe some of the reason is because of the fact that we're surrounded by so much like of this information now and so much knowledge and so much meetings as i, as I say um i'm possibly part of the problem well i am part of the problem as opposed to the actual solution because what happens when you start seeking and you, you know you hear about this thing whether it's non-duality or advaita or sufism or buddhism or what have you the immediate reaction is to start looking outwards look for some you know wizened old man who will have all your answers so in that sense that very knowing of this thing and the very first act is to give our power away um, and I believe the reason for that is because ultimately we do know but we're terrified of our own light we're terrified of what we really are um, because let's be honest if we saw ourselves for what we truly were a lot of our excuses uh, a lot of our reasonings a lot of our logic would would uh, in a sense die and it's in, in a sense like living wide open with with no excuses and having to face everything as and how and as it appears so whether it's emotion that we've looked to try to deny whether it's a chattering mind which we've tried to quieten or or any of that stuff we then have to in a sense address this you know we have to address the elephant in the room which is i've put this story in play i have my reasons i can go to a meeting and cry and tell people i want to wake up and yet i still haven't as as you know as the mystic alan watts said if you want to you know if you want to wake up if you're going to wake up you're going to wake up and most people if you really examine the reasons behind what they're doing what they're doing or, you know why they're doing what they're doing most don't really want to wake up so there is that story you know uh, i said at an old talk you know you become invested in this you become invested in the fact that you're a seeker you become invested in the fact that you've got these books now or you've gone and done this this and this and it creates an entire life for you it's it's similar to asking somebody to murder their child why would you murder an entire life that you've put together that you've painstakingly and lovingly nurtured on a moment by moment basis and to be asked to put that down most people will not put that down so one of the things i've been recently talking about is examine the reasons as to why you've created this reality in this way you know um i've been asking the question you know if you're not separate from consciousness you know then why did you put these you know stories and ideas into place and it's designed to in a sense make you really in a sense think which is a bit of a, again a bit of a misnomer because we've been conditioned so much to say that the mind is such a bad thing um but we've been conditioned to put all these things in place and stuff and then do exactly what we've been doing all our lives when it comes to our seeking as well again looking for something outside for someone to give you a reason very similar to what was happening at school when teachers told you what to do and to pretty much follow the general you know worn and accepted way of doing this thing which if we really look at it hasn't really helped because every year now seekers are growing exponentially teachers are getting more and more busier and yet because of the fact that we have all this information because we have everything already in place you know we don't seem to be understanding what we truly are and it's because as i say you know the last knowledge is you know the last veil is knowledge and that has to be let go of but it's a very brave person it's a very person it's a very true person who's going to in a sense let that go so have a look at why you're doing what you're doing you know try to examine the reasons as to why this current reality of seeking something that you feel is missing which really if you were to look at the thoughts upon close examination you would find it's a misnomer are in place and once you can see what you're doing what you're doing you may then slowly but surely then be able to in a sense let go now if that sounds like a method well yes it's is just as methodical as screaming or barking let go let go you have no choice it is just this who is asking and all that stuff there have always been methods and techniques whether it's questioning whether it's self inquiry whether it's mantras or what have you that have pointed to you as to what you are the question is ultimately and this is where everybody knows all of this whether you're willing to just finally put it down